Hi guys, Vex here. I really don't want to have to do oh, chemistry. Fuck. <sighs> Hi. Welcome to here. Welcome to the episode. Last episode. My dumbass character volunteered to prepare a remedy of some kind, so... Great. I have to do the alchemy, and I don't know... Was... was dude, did dude bro walk out of here? Is anybody awake? Is it just me? That guy's kind of awake, but I think he's like fighting through pain, so it's just pretty much me. Alright, let's give it a try. Um, okay, so let's check. Huh. Uh, next page. Bane Potion. Jovi's Rage. Hair of the Dog. Save your schnapps. A more he said prepare the remedy. Ah, here we go. Charcoal, Valerian, and Thistle. Oh crap. Charcoal, Valerian, and Thistle. And what was it? It was One, one to one to two. Okay. So I need two thistle for every valerian and charcoal. So how's my inventory look? No, don't leave it open. Damn it. Um, other. I don't have any charcoal. Do I have valerian? I've got thistle. I've got one thistle. And 43 Valerian! Okay, well, we've got the Valerian covered. Bandage. Hey, uh, maybe he's got the ingredients around here. Oh, thank God. Um, Thistle. Valerian. Charcoal. Am I in the clear to just take all of this? In case I need it for something? Okay, um... Alright. Oh, shit. Okay, I've got the ingredient. Hmm... I don't have that much. I cannot... If I screw this up, it means I'm going to have to run off into the wilderness and find more of this by myself, I think. <clears throat> okay. We just have to be careful. No. Okay. Just be careful. Do exactly, exactly what the recipe says. That's the thing. You can't delay. You can't space out. You can't double check the book while crafting the recipe. You have to do it just exactly what it says, and you have to stick to it. Okay, so let's just go over this a few times. Prepare clean water, one handful of valerian, two of thistle, and some charcoal. Drop the thistle into the cauldron and boil for two turns. Add the valerian and boil for one more turn. Leave to cool. Finally add the charcoal, but do not boil. Okay, we can use... I can auto-prepare like that because I've got the ingredients. And that'll put them the thistle, the valerian, and the charcoal there. Um, so we're doing this with water. So I'm going to use the water. Put that in there. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and start the bellows. We're going to go ahead and start the bellows. Start the bellows. Oh, left trigger. 
All right. All right, let's get it hot. Damn, I wish water boiled that fast for me in real life. That would make cooking certain things a lot easier. Okay, we've got a nice boil going. Let's keep that going. Get hot. Cool. All right, let's double check. Always double check. Water, one of valerian, two of thistle, some of charcoal. So thistle goes in first and boils for two turns of the... So thistle boils for two. Valerian goes in and boils for one more. Wait till it cools. Add the charcoal, but do not boil. So thistle for two, valerian for one. Leave to cool. Thistle for two, valerian for one, leave to cool. Thistle for two, valerian for one, leave to cool. Alright. Okay. So we get it boiling. Thistle. More thistle. Keep it boiling. thistle in, and that was two handfuls of thistle. So two handfuls of thistle, boiled for two turns. Add valerian, one more turn. We wait for it to cool. Then add the charcoal and bottle it up, basically. Okay, it looks cool. Let's get the charcoal. Wow, he just stuck that in there. And then, uh, Should be good to go, I think. We didn't have to mortar and pestle anything, right? One handful to a thistle, drop the thistle, boil. Yeah, no. No, no, and no, nothing else. Um, so now we... Okay. Let's see if we do this. Did we do it right? Kick ass! I did it right. All right. There is a little bit of wiggle room, um, but you can see, like, I got the I got it boiling, and then you spend it. It actually goes by pretty quick. It's like time compressed, you know, compared to what it would probably really be like. Uh, you saw how, like, you saw how fast the water came to a boil, right? Um, and and so when you're doing this, like, it's it's got to be. Bo it says it's you know it's got to be boiling. And it takes time just to do like the pickup animation and turn and put it in and then turn and get another one and do those animations. Like that's a significant amount of time rel relative to the total time of the recipe preparation. So you can't screw around. Um, but I did it. Okay, cool. Uh, that wasn't, I was expecting something a little more complicated, but that was fairly simple. Thank God. Je Jesus Christ be praised, right guys? Alright, let's get out of here. We've got to take this to the... Ooh, it's raining. Any free food? No? Can I cook an item? No. Let's head back to Murhayed. Uh, let's see. Quest log. We do just head back, right? 
Take the remedy to Murriad. Alright. And we got some alchemy XP from that. Kick ass. Uh, I guess we'll just travel at night. And if we get robbed on the way, well, that's, what can you do? You know what would be great is if you didn't put the quest marker right on top of the fast travel point, but never mind, it's okay, I got it. I may be getting a little tired, but uh, I think I'm good until it's in the 50s or whatever, right? Roughly speaking. Hopefully, hopefully I don't get into any random encounters and I get there just at dawn. Nope, I'm getting there in the friggin' witching hours. Cannot see anything. Well, I'm gonna move a little bit away from the town before the guard gets pissy at me for not having a torch out. Is that thistle? What is this stuff? Oh, it's marigold. Oh, that's for the, that's for the, this is for the healing, this is useful for the healing potion. I'm actually going to take some time to grab this, because Marigold is pretty sweet. I want that. And then, I'm going to pass time till daytime. I can actually see. Because 8, I think 8 a.m. is fairly well, yeah, yeah, that's quite well lit. But yeah, I, I actually waited through the night one time in a town, and, the, and one of the guards came over and actually hit me with a, cr that I committed a crime because I didn't have a torch with me. Um, and then I told him that I was in the service of Sir Radzig Kobil, Kobi Sir Radzig, and the guard's like, oh, I'm sorry, sir, and I was like, damn right, you're sorry. Get your little bitch ass out of here. I am super important, and I'm, my charisma is really high, and that did the trick. Dude, I love my horse, it teleports. So, uh, I'm supposed to meet a dude around here somewhere. I got the cure in my pocket. Have you seen, um, Mr. Dude Bro? What happened? Horror of horrors, Master. Jesus Christ. That's right. Have I never talked to this person before? These bandits. Some thieving rabble. How did you... Well... It looks like you've... They had no time for that. And the disease... I don't want to tempt fate. There's not much to tell anyway. It hit... Huh. Well, Thank she... you. That's... Even though the dialogue tree is marked off as unread, she's not telling me anything new, as far as I can tell. Hey, buddy! God, you look dead. Can I ask you a bit about... I haven't been here long. What's Melikar like? The locals look up to him. Smelly. I know. Uh, you so told Hanush me about hasn't this had before, time I think. Thank God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Hmm. Okay. God, it looks like he just dies right there. Um. Okay, so so it's it's marked as un not done yet. It's bright white in the dialogue tree, but it's still the same info. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Maybe it's marked as white until I exhaust every possible conversation outcome, which would mean I would need to say the other thing. But I don't want to do that because that's not what I don't think my character would say. Alright, let's check the quest log and see if I'm missing something. Find out from Brother Nick how things look in Marriott. Take the remedy. So I'm going to uh, B this way. Ah, okay. Alright, I, I do see my marker now. It is this one. So this building? Ah, hey! So, here I am. How are things looking? 
It doesn't look good at all, my boy. Do you have the potion? Yes, here it is. I'll take four doses, you take the rest, and let's split up. I'll see to the straw family while you deal with Melikar's wife and the rest. They wouldn't let me go near that prisoner. They want him to suffer. Despite his terrible crimes, to treat a fellow mortal soul like that. Perhaps I'll be able to convince them. I promised I'd bring them help, and I've kept my word. They must let me go to him. I hope so, but in the short while I've been here, I've found the locals to be rather stubborn. Mm. So, he's got things here in this house, which means I'm going to B again, I think. Uh, to the left of the gate. Isn't that how it goes, this house? Is this the right one? Uh, probably, oh. Hello. You're back? Yes, and I have something to make you well again. Good Lord above. Thank you for showing us your mercy. Drink this and give it to everyone in the house. I've also brought someone who will take care of you until you get back on your feet. Thank you, Good Samaritan. All right, so let's keep following the quest marker, I suppose. Because I don't what? quite remember my way around this know? town. God be with you, good sir. God be with you too. Jesus Christ be praised. We found out what could be the cause of the affliction. And? You should check where your water's coming from. Nicodemus and I think that it comes down to poisoning. It'd be hard to poison the spring, but what about the well? Good Lord, that's difficult to believe. Well, I have my suspicions. The bastards weren't satisfied with killing young Straw. The fucking bastards! Hey. We're not done, buddy. I brought some help, as promised. Will you let me see the prisoner? I will let you, I will. Of course I will. My boy, if you've really brought a potion to rid us of this scourge, I'll let you do anything. Ah, oh, whether I've managed to rid you of the scourge, that <coughs> remains to be seen. It'll take a few days before we know whether the potion worked. I know, but even so, just the fact that someone cares, that means a lot to us. Damn, son. Uh... I mean, uh, I'll give I'll give him the credit. Thank Brother Nicodemus. Without him, there'd have been no potion. I'll do that. Now open up that shed. Damn. All right, let's go uh, squeeze some info out of out of Dude Bro. Man, it's hot. Winter is supposed to be coming in where I am, and uh, it was weird. It was, it was hot, and then all of a sudden it was like a well, it wasn't hot, but it was a uh, temperate, I guess, comfortable. And then all of a sudden one day it was like a switch got flipped, and it was it was really cold. And then now it's now it's hot again. Just like friggin' Auckland weather, seriously. Where the hell am I going? <laughs> it says I'm right on top of it. Is it... Is it this? Or... It must be this? Is he hiding in the straw? Okay, maybe it's this shed. Oh, 
I wonder if I could have gotten in here before. Is he sleeping? Lord, please end this. Please, no more suffering. Gonna need me some privacy for this. You hold on a sec there, buddy. I gotta level up my lock picking some more. <laughs> no, I'm not doing this Lord, to steal, I'm just leveling my lock please. picking, so I'm not really gonna no take anything. Suffering. Just to level up lock picking. That's all. Hmm. Now let's wait and see what happens. So do I literally wait here for like two days or something? Oh shit! I've had enough! I would laugh so hard if he just like projectile diary all, all over himself. He says that and he just goes <laughs> just like paints this wall brown right here. <sighs> but he won't. Lord, please end this. Please, no more suffering. Do I literally wait two days here? Oh. Should probably pop on over to uh, House C. Is this it? Oh, sweet mother of God. Oh, it's your hunker. Hey. Tell me more about the situation here. All right, that's all. Pardon me, your hunker. What are you doing? I'm uh, giving the cure. What is no. it? Oh, my God. No, let me sleep. <sighs> no, let me sleep. Go, go away. Leave me alone. Okay, I'm I'm getting the vibe that maybe this is not the right place. Maybe I need to go in this room. Lord, please end this. Please no more. No, I guess suffering. not. I am going to pick these locks though just for the XP. Stop. Yes. That's not yours! Watch out! A thief! No, no, I'm not thief. a thief! No, no, it was just a misunderstanding. Don't move a finger! Mm. Lord, please end this. Ah, no more suffering. No, 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 I was just, um... You were seen in the act of lockpicking. No, no. Well, you won't forget this. No. Dude, why is my charisma five? Mother of God, I can't bear the pain. Should I try this? Look, I'll tell you the truth, but you mustn't tell anyone. The Lord of... Do you think I'm so stu... God damn it. Damn it, here's your coin. Lord, You've paid for your... This. And hand me over... No more suffering. I don't think I had any stolen goods on me. Who the flip saw me? Everybody's like dead and dying in this place. Who? It was a woman in a blue. Jesus! No. Move out of my way, you butt munch. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. It was a woman in a blue dress. Where the frick did she come from? Okay. Um. No. Where is house C? I'm supposed to go to house number C or something. C. Give the cure to the sick. Is it this one? Hey, watch it. Maybe it's this one. Uh -huh. No. Clear. A good day to you. What? 
What's happened here? Things are bad. Very bad. First we get plague. You Indeed so. So Thanks. I can trade with him? Oh, he's got the horse stuff. Well hell. I'm buying that. Ooh, I could upgrade my horse. Um, I think I'm wearing those right now, actually. Well, I definitely want those. Should I buy some horseshoes, too? I guess I'll just buy all that stuff. Let's have a word about... I? You know, dude, I'm like healing your village. You what need do you to... say to this? That's... Yeah, it'll be enough. Ugh, you... Come now. Fine. Oh, that's... Alright, so, horse. I, I didn't know I could get all that kind of stuff for my horse. Like horseshoes and stuff? Is it, is it under armor? <laughs> it is. I'll be damned. I'm so confused why my charisma is like nothing right now. What did I do? Is it because I'm dirty? Oh wow, that makes them faster. That makes them noticeably faster. Kick ass. Well, I'm glad I came in here, just for that. Oh, it's you. What happened? Horror of Jesus Christ. That's right. Thank you. Maybe it's because I'm filthy. Uh... Let's go wash up real quick. Is my charisma back up now? <sighs> God damn it. I bet I could have talked my way out of that if I wasn't filthy. Pray it stays that way. So, dude bro was in here. And he wanted me to get the other houses? I feel so stupid right now. Like, where am I supposed to go? And I just went across the street to that building. Maybe this one here? I guess I'll just keep going in houses until I figure out which one, huh? Oh, I'm trespassing. You're back. Of course. I always keep my word. I don't doubt that, naturally. Did you deliver my will? Is 
I can't stand it anymore. It lies securely in the safekeeping of Father Fabian. What a relief. Don't worry. I brought a remedy from Sasa. Well, that makes up for the Drink payment this the regularly. Guard. You and everyone in the house. A remedy? You have hands of gold. Pure gold, my boy. God bless you. Punished. Okay. For what? For what? Alright, uh... And it still says... Somebody, okay, so I got that house. And I got... That house. And that's where the prisoner is. And I gave the thing to the prisoner. I think I gave, I had the option to give that guy anything. Okay. Alright, so this section is taken care of. Um, this is where my friend is. Okay, so then that means this house. not. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anybody in the barn. Uh, then this house down here? Yeah, this guy's... Uh, that woman's husband died, and I remember helping to bury him. Uh, I think this is the last one, right? Um, I guess I'll just pick the lock real quick. Sweet Mary. Brother, is that you? We have to hitch up the sled. Yes, yes, the sled. Is this holy? It is. Drink some. Alright. I like how I had to break the law and go trespassing just to complete that. So now I just wait until the situation clears up. Okay. I kind of wish maybe I could have just given the thing to Brother Nicodemus and he just runs around and heals everybody for me. Because... Just running around giving the cure to each person wasn't overly interesting. It was kind of just more annoying. And I suppose I talk to him when everything's said and done, because he's the quest marker. I... Four hours? I mean, it said like maybe two days. Do I actually just wait for two days? Let's try four hours and see where that gets us. Check on the bandit. Uh, isn't he in here? Let's go check on the bandit. Hey, you. Welcome back to the land of the living. What? Who? Who are you? My name is Henry, and I'm investigating on behalf of Sir Radzig Kobala. Oh, I see. You'll have an easy job with me, boy. How so? I won't give you any problems. That's sensible of you. I'm a sensible man, only I'd like to get it over quick and not keep the Rate Executioner busy too long, if you catch my drift. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? I follow the coin, lad. 
We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Pribislavitz. And Runt got his money from the chief, and the chief had the coin minted. <laughs> Who's the chief? The bandit leader? Bandit? If he heard you say that, he'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't Czech. So he's a foreigner? German? Don't think so. For sure he ain't Czech. And he's got plenty of coin. I'd stake my neck on it. He's got noble blood in his veins. Judging by how he looks? More by the way he talks. Any man can dress up like nobility, but he spoke all la-di-da, like a lord. Where's that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyet, but he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. So maybe that's Mark Vart von Fartfart? So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say. I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. How's that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to whom. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Pribislav, it's big and small. Robber barons who had their own brigades calling them my lord, and common footpads who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. Lots of squabbles. The occasional murder. Old cronies and old rivals were meeting. Know what I mean? I suppose so. It was one big muddle. The main thing was nobody asked questions. I didn't give a damn who the chief was or what he had in mind, or whether he had one ball or two. All I was interested in was the coin. Uh -huh. So you knew the coin was counterfeit? Of course I did. <clears throat> I brought those Groshen to Pribislavitz, along with a few other things. Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? Like, where were they made? I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. We used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens, I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. So Menhart's waiting there? Might be. Might not. He could have heard what happened in Pribus Lovitz and decided not to show. And does this Menhart know where the coin comes from? How should I know? To me, he's just another link in the chain. I deal with him, and I never ask who he deals with. Just like he knows nothing about me. I see. So I suppose there's no point asking you if you know any more about him. It'd be a waste of breath. All he did was give me the coin, and then we went our separate ways. Who else knows about the money? Apart from the chief, Menhart, Runt and me, there was a few others. The men got some real money too with the false stuff. It'd be suspicious if they only had freshly minted coin. You said you used to bring other things. What were they? Letters. Menhart would give them to me for the chief. This time I was taking an answer back to Menhart too. Have you still got that letter? Aye. The yokels round here ain't got much interest in correspondence. Apparently. Give it to me then. I'd be delighted. What were the letters about? If I knew how to read, I wouldn't be trusted to carry letters, would I? I took them from Menhart to the chief and back. And that's all. Hmm. How did you know about Pribis Lovitz? Who took you there? A fellow by the name of Moorcock. <laughs> we met near Kuttenberg. <laughs> I was robbing burghers who were fleeing the town from Sigismund's army. We got to talking, and he told me about Privis Lovitz. How did you know? A fellow by the name of Moorcock. 
More cock and Kutenberg. Okay. Why did you attack Merhoyed? Merhoyed. The chief himself gave us the order. Uh, I reckon he wanted to show the local lords he was nowhere near finished. So he's planning more raids? The chief's always planning something. Primus Lovitz was only the start. That's all I need to know for now. F for now? For the love of Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. I've already told you everything I know. Um, okay. I can't deny you've been cooperative. I'll do my best to see you get a quick end. Dude, so this guy knows he's just bound. Henry! I think old Straw's come for the brigand! Step back from that Eden, young fella! But... But you can't kill me! Not just like that! Shut the fuck up, you weasel! I keep it fucking shut! You don't even get a say! Calm down, Straw. He won't escape justice. After all, he's... Don't stand in my way, Malikar! Let Henry decide! He's the one who saved his life! Let's talk about it. To Alwada! That horse will kill my boy! That specific he one? won't leave Merhayed alive! Hmm. I understand, Straw, truly. I lost my parents. They were slain in front of my eyes, and to the day I die, I'll never forgive myself for doing nothing to save them. And if you got your hands on the man who killed them, would you let them live? I... I suppose. See, go then. Take that bastard and get out of here. And if one day you find your parents killers, remember what passed here today. Huh. Yeah, I don't want to tick off uh, Lord Radzig. He wants this dude. And the last time he sent me to track someone down, I, if I recall, I got there too late and they were dead. I am getting a little sleepy. Um, so it would, it would be kind of nice if I could get this guy in one piece. Game saved. Is he in here? Hey! Oh, it's a... It's a lockpick. Back trouble? I just did that for the XP. You, uh... If you heard a click... That was just me cracking my knuckles. Um, your door is still shut securely, so don't try anything. That is all. Uh, where the hell am I? Is this the bailiffs? Ah, uh, this is the bailiffs. Oh, all right. Cucumbers, lovely cucumbers. Hey, dude. Welcome. Henry, I'm, I'm running by here. God save. Uh, pair my stuff. Because I need to be in tip top charisma. Yeah, I need to be in tip top charisma. So I need all my metal bits repaired, and I need to look. I need to look really I hope spot I on. Can. Oh, God. Oh, that's not too bad. I was worried about how long, how how much damage I was going to get into right there. Uh, let's go talk to...
Father Simon and Ravna. Okay. Well, um, it's been... Oh yeah, it's been 45 minutes. So I think I'll take a break here. I might go sleep. So I asked Ravna. I might go back to the mill and sleep. And, uh, yeah. I may go knock out that, um, hunting thing. You guys remember that? That, uh... Yeah, that game meat. I might bring some of that to the infirmary. Um, I might do that off camera. It's just me hunting some stuff. Um, but anyway. Uh, I'll see you guys next episode. That was pretty fun and cool. I like this quest. I except for the part where I had to run around the town and give the cure to all the houses. I its NPCs I've already talked to, and I kind of just wish they had been like, oh, okay, it's, it's all administered, but whatever. Um, until next time, as always, take it easy.